Yeah, hi YouTube. Uh, it's Michael, and some of you might remember that I did this sensor board, uh, well, project a certain time ago. And this is, uh, well, it's not the first video I do about this project, but um, it turned out to be quite resourceful. And what I did is, uh, well, um, well, I extended the software, the client software, and also the capabilities you can do with it. Meaning, I wrote a piece of software that uh, allows it to store um, the values of the sensor values into a MySQL database. And then I wrote a Perl script. This is the Perl script that, well, asks the database for this data and plots it with GNUplot, which is a quite powerful plotting tool. So this is the script. And so, you see, I have this running for, say, well, 20 hours by now. I have one sensor placed outside. This is the SHT11. And I have uh, placed one sensor of DS1621 inside. So, a little example about what my script can do now. I say plot with smooth lines, IDs. This is says sensor 0 and values 0 and 1. Uh, this is the meaning of this is you can have multiple sensors. 0 is uh, the SHT11, this is the outside sensor. And there are two values. One is uh, the temperature and one is the humidity. So, and you can say, well, I just want the humidity, or you can say, I just want uh, the temperature, whatever. So, and you can do something like from today to now. You can specify a complete date here, or say from 2000 to 3000, or from, well, a certain day and time to now, or something like this. You can specify an interval. You can also say minus last, say last two hours. So, Let's do this now. So this is the sensor data it plotted. So the green curve, this is uh, the humidity, which was up to almost 80, I suppose, because it rained here and down here. And I said from today to now, which is today midnight to now, and this is about, well, it's 20, 2000. So this is all data from midnight to now for this one sensor right so what if uh, if I just want to plot say the humidity then I would say just plot humidity so and now I have just the humidity for the same um, for the same time period um, let's uh, plot to the inside and outside temperature I would say 0, 0 and the other sensor has ID 1 1, 0 right. just have one hand to type so this is a little awkward right. so this, the green curve is obviously it says here right? The green curve is the inside temperature, which is always quite stable because inside it's not, it doesn't fluctuate so much. And this is the outside temperature. Let's do this for the say last <coughs> last two hours. The whole thing for the last two hours. Let's say minus last two hours. So from 18 to about 20. This is it. This is the curve for the last two hours. And I have uh, this smooth option in, but th what does it do? It, oh, it interpolates uh, the curve so it's more smoothly. Let's see the raw data, the un unsmoothened data, and you can see that the, the unsmoothened data sh uh, doesn't look quite so well appealing to the eye because this sensor or, or just has a 0 0.5 degree resolution, so it's very bumpy here. The curve is very bumpy. And, well, you see, this is... Well, you see that this doesn't look so so good. So, if I say smooth, then it will interpolate the whole thing. And uh, that's just the same data with the smooth options activated. So, and you can see that it is so well, it's, yeah, <laughs> it looks far better. So, right, this is it.
this is what I had, that's what I did yesterday evening and uh, good day of today. Well, this is the Perl script. I use Perl because uh, while I'm doing a course in school about Perl again and uh, Perl is quite powerful uh, if it comes to th things like that. Uh, so I, I didn't want to do this in C because if you do something like this in C, well, yeah, let's just say it's a, it's a major pain in the ass. So you can make things easy. This is the part where you can specify this, the two dates and you see it's, it, it looks quite, yeah, it looks like something in Perl and if you do the, the same thing in C, well, you wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching and I will probably uh, add even more options to the script now but it's, it's working quite fine. So, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.